exo weaving. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. Or maybe you saw one of my other bossing videos and you're like, oh, why does this guy go up into the air now when he bosses? You know, something like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, and we are back. As I was saying, it's something like this. Today, I'm gonna be going over how to do this effectively, as well as two different methods that you can use to do this. The first will be the manual method that was popularized by Bomba. It's what I just did. And the second will be with the traditional sticky keys, which uh, I think Morning Bear came up with. Before you even begin watching this tutorial, you might be wondering if this stuff is even worth it. You know, I wondered the same thing as well at the beginning, but the difference between this and the traditional sticky weave video that I made a while ago is pretty significant. And just like last time, after I make this tutorial, I'll also upload a DPS comparison one, uh, comparing like all three methods, you know, and maybe something else as well. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, so you guys might be looking at this and just kind of being like, oh, well, where do I even start to think about doing this, right? Like, I'm sure you guys know that Kengu cancels pretty much any animation that you have, and some of you might be familiar with doing stuff like, oh, like that, or like that. Okay, well, I can cancel EXO too, but it's like, like that, right? Like, how do I keep on going, right? And the trick to making your character fall fast is right after you cancel the EXO, you press haunting again immediately. So it'd be like that, and you would start falling. Uh, the trick to doing this really fast is to actually press EXO and Tengu at the exact same time. I know it sounds a little bit tricky and kind of tight on timing, but from experience you should get it done pretty quickly. And it does cancel the skill still if you press at the same time, so it'd be like, like that. Um, I know for some people, if you press at the same time, like you try it over and over again, it really doesn't work. Some people try to press Tengu like a split second, like 0.1 seconds before EXO, and then it works for them that way as well. Uh, all right, now the trick to doing this is it's not just to cancel the EXO. When you use Haunting, right? You notice how there's like a delay in between haunting casts, right? Like this. So what you're trying to do is cancel the delay between the hauntings with Tengu while also using EXO at the same time. So while the normal one would look like this, if you just use Tengu normally, it'd look like this. Notice how there's no end delay, and with EXO it looks like this. It's kind of like that. Um, for some people, like, they'll have a delay in between their, like, first haunting hit and the rest, so, you know, it might either hang and have a split second in between the first, second, and third, or it might even just cast the first and then the other hits after, like, something like that. So if you're like that, when you come down from EXO, you'd have to double tap the haunting key before you hold it down. So it'd be something like, uh, Tengu plus EXO, then Haunting Hold. And that's only if your keyboard happens to, I guess, not be repeating fast enough. So it'd be like, uh, yeah. And 
then you would come to the same effect as like what I just showed. But if you don't have a delay in between your hits, then it'd be Just like that but basically the full combo would be haunting hold yeah i'm just typing this out because uh, some people you know there's always the watchers that don't have sound on and then they waste their time asking questions afterwards and i realize they didn't actually watch the video so you know hopefully this catches those people. So it'll be like, hold, like so, and then hold, repeat. So it'd be like, oh, oops, hold on. First Tengu I cantled way too late, but yeah, it would look something like that, generally. Okay, now for the second part of this video. This is with Sticky Heaves, and the only difference in between this and the traditional Sticky Keys is that you have to actually assign EXO to a sticky key as well. So back in the day my EXO was on 8, but for this I moved it to shift, so I have... Yeah, it's like that. And what you do is you press EXO and then you press Tenku and Hantu together and then you just hold them down as normal, like all three, so it'd be like this. see and as you can probably hear since I have my keyboard sounds pretty much on in the background uh, that technique has significantly less key presses than like the manual weaving of course and I guess like that's an upside you know it's like for people who want to have an easier time uh, there's like two downsides to this and the first one is that it's going to be less DPS than manual weaving, but I mean, you do like four times less inputs pretty much. Uh, the second one is that the traditional sticky keys already had some mana drain problems for people with not the greatest ping. And sticky exo weaving only amplifies that. But it is like a double-edged sword because this also means that it like turbo turbo charges a uh, doppelganger like charges really really fast. So it's like yeah. Um, and remember, I have good ping, so if you have not the greatest ping, you'll probably just insta proc. So. Yeah. Well, we've reached the end of this video, and before I go, I'd like to record a quick 40 second demonstration of just what it looks like when I'm actually hitting something. So, you're not just seeing me like, oh, yeah, this guy just hitting air in town or something. Um, probably easier to understand. Something I didn't mention earlier is that you can also cancel other skills, not just EXO when you're doing these fast waves, so it'd be something like... Yeah. Uh, some people also like to leave Haku between because there's like no cast time and it costs 2 mana, so it'll charge double faster. So... Anyway, 
yeah, I'll be doing all of that in a sec. Okay, for reference, it's gonna be at attack speed too, so no IA, no domain. of each and like 200 tengus so it's a very large difference between this and like sticky weed like you get a lot less tengu hits but you know it's very much worth anyway yeah <laughs> 